Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. Uh, those of you who are my friends on Facebook may have seen my post on Saturday where I told you that uh, I was starting a kitchen herb garden. And Wayne and I went to Lowe's and picked out some beautiful plants. We got parsley, uh, sage, oregano, thyme, chives. Oh, I can't remember all of them. Anyway, we got a bunch of them. And because I don't have a green thumb, Wayne planted them for me in these really pretty terracotta colored um, planters. And they're out on the deck. And I'm just so happy with it because I've always wanted a kitchen herb garden. And I decided, since I haven't done a mini album in such a long time, I'm going to take some pictures of it and I'm going to do a little mini album. And I just got freshly picked and it's perfect for it. Those of you who have it already have probably looked through here and you know what's in this cartridge, but it's perfect for this little album. But the first thing I did, I made this little gnome. I am so crazy about him. Is he not the cutest thing? Look at that. <laughs> he makes me laugh every time I look at him. But I had to go ahead and put him together. But I cut out my little gnome at three and a half inches and he's on page 37 and I cut his background out of a kind of flesh colored and his pants were out of black the shadow of course is black his beard is white and his shirt is green and that's on layers and then you hit shift in layers to get his belt his shoes and his hat and I just took a black pen, a zig pen, and filled in for his eyes because it just cut out two tiny little dots. They were just way too small. But he's going to go on the cover of my mini album. And just let me show you a few things in here. I was flipping through. Like right here, it's got a little uh, sign that says parsley. Well, I didn't get any parsley because we don't use parsley in cooking. We use sage. And there's the sign. And here's a sage plant. Isn't that neat? Okay, I got rosemary. This is exactly what the little planters look like. And that's what the rosemary looks like in them. So cool. Here's thyme. I love this. It's just perfect. This one says herb garden. But I'm going to use this cartridge freshly picked for my little mini and then I decided to use the elegant edges to cut out my uh, pages and my cover and my back cover for my album and I was flipping through and I found two that I liked and I went ahead and cut them out of some scraps of cardstock and I decided on five inches uh, this first one is on page 25 and it's called swirl one and I like the shape of this. And I'm going to use my bind it all to bind it. And that will go over here. And I need to allow about half an inch for my binding. So my album will be five inches this way. And about four and a quarter inches this way if I use this shape. And this one's just a little bit different. I like the edge on this. I don't want anything fancy, so I didn't cut the swirls that come with it. But this is called Swirl 2, and it's on page 39. And I really like this one. This is also at 5 inches. I'm probably going to go with this one. I love that shape. This is the first one. This is Swirl 1. And right down here it says Book. And you can see this one has a swirl. And to me, that's too fancy for a garden mini. So I used this one. And the other one is on page 39. Let me show you that. There's some beautiful shapes in here. Let's see. A couple more pages. Okay, here it is. This is probably the one I'm going to use. It's this one right here. And it's called Swirl 2. But after I decided on doing that, I went down to the scrapbook store because I decided I didn't want to use cereal boxes for this. And I got some real chipboard guys, 12 by 12 pieces. This is not a lightweight or heavy. It's kind of a medium chipboard. And I think it'll do really nicely. And then I started picking out some papers. And I knew I wanted to use some red, green, and blue. 
so I picked these out. Some of these are die cuts with a view, and some are, um, let's see, color book. And I know I'll use some more as we go along, but these are the colors I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, at least a couple times a week, uh, go ahead and do a video as I put this album together and see how it turns out. And I'm going to show the video to y'all so you can see me step by step putting a little mini together. But this little guy is going on the front cover. So I'm going to go and look through my cartridges and see if there's any other things I need. I think I'm primarily going to be using freshly picked and elegant edges though. There's just so many cute things in here. Also, we're getting our front yard landscaped and we're going to be putting in some trees and things so I can take some pictures and use this for some scrapbook pages as well. Great little cartridge. I just love it. So thanks for coming by today, guys, and I hope to see you again soon uh, with the first video of my cover for my little mini album. See you soon. Bye now.